Hello everyone, I'm James Merrill of the Popcorn Ready Podcast and today's review is of Avatar 2 The Way of Water. Starting off, this is obviously the second film from the very big budget and insanely popular first film, Avatar, from over 12 plus years ago. The film is very heavily reliant on special effects and again I must say it is absolutely brilliant to see on the big screen of the cinema or in 3D if you can watch it. It really does add an awe-inspiring cinema element to your viewing. It really invites you into the world of Pandora where the film is set. Way of Water does a good job of bridging the gap from the first to the second movie and I also really like how it adds new characters and especially adds the family dynamic to Jake Sully, the main character, as well as keeping some old fan favourites from the previous movie. Another thing Way of Water manages to reproduce from the original film is the native people and their close link with nature and obviously the life force on the planet. This time it has more of a sea and water element as you can guess from the title in the film and again it just expands the whole world you know to your eyes and what Pandora could have to offer in later movies. I thought the fight and battle scenes were up to scratch and on par with the previous film. Really good overall. Now for me, in my personal opinion, the glue of the cast in this movie is actually from the human element of the character Spider, who is played by Jack Champion. He obviously highlights the mix of CGI with real life and again his character has a lot of room for development and the struggles he's going with as he is a human adopted by the Sully family as he couldn't go back home from the previous first movie. This film ticks a lot of the boxes of the genre in the action, adventure and sci-fi realm. This PG-13 film was also directed by James Cameron again, in a masterful way. Now, so far the review's been all sunshine and rainbows, but there is a few nitpicking critiques that did bother me slightly in this film. First up, the main one, is the storyline again. The Sky People, aka the humans, have come back to the planet, but this time, rather than take its natural resources for its own gain, they're now going to use Pandora to repopulate as a new Earth. Which is kind of, you know, only slightly different from the first movie. Next up, the battle scenes of the Na'vi and Avatar attacking the Sky People is done in sort of raid form, and it is highlighted on, but... They could have maybe done something a bit different and got a bit more creative and had a bigger, larger scale battle rather than it being kind of the bit at the end, which to me didn't really go that well. It was a bit sort of predictable. And then my last two points on the storyline really is the Sully family trying to protect their own tribe by moving to another one, which kind of just showcases the new skill set needed which kind of is, again, a repeat of the first film, except Sam Worthington's Jake Sully is learning how to be an avatar and the way of the Navi people. So to me, it looks like James Cameron was kind of running out of ideas a little bit on that point. And then finally, the film's biggest villain in Stephen Lang, who was a colonel in the first movie who dies. So they bring him back to life through like a memory chip implant and grow him as an avatar. So the old adage of can't beat them, join them type thing to make it kind of a fairer battle um, in the sense of the, you know, the avatar's size and strength advantage kind of equals out. Personally, 
I'd have loved to have seen another character come into play here. Um, just bringing old characters back to life is a bit cheap, really. Even though the character played by Stephen Lang is epic and is definitely one of the stars of the first film. His voice just, yeah, doesn't really sell it as much for me on this one. So then, on to my score. And I'm giving this one a... Sweet 7.9 out of 10. If you liked the first film, you'll also love this one. I'm really excited to see what the later movies offer. As always, thank you for listening. Please feel free to like the vid and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.